Lucas, Luke 23. And the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate, and began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation, and forbidding to give tribute to Kekhar, saying that he himself is Mashiach, a king. And Pilate asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Yahudim? And he answered him and said, You say it. Then said Pilate to the chief priests and to the people, I find no fault in this man. And they were the more fierce, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Yahuda, beginning from Galil to this place. When Pilate heard of Galil, he asked whether the man were a Galilee. And as soon as he knew that he belonged unto Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who himself also was at Yahushalayim at that time. And when Herod saw Yahusha, he was exceeding glad, for he was very desirous to see him of a long season, because he had heard many things of him, and he hoped to have seen some miracle done by him. Then he questioned with him in many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and scribes stood and vehemently accused him. And Herod with his men of war set him at naught, and mocked him, and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe, and sent him again to Pilate. On the same day Pilate and Herod were made friends together, for before they were at enmity between themselves. And Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverts the people, and behold, I, having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man, touching those things whereof ye accuse him. No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him, and, lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him, for of necessity he must release one unto them at the feast. And they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us eth bar Abba, who for a certain sedition made in the city and for murder, was cast into prison. Pilate, therefore, willing to release Yahusha, spoke again to them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! And he said unto them the third time, Why, what evil has he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. And they were instant with loud voices, requiring that he must might be crucified. And the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required. And he released unto them him that for, for sedition and murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired. But eth he delivered Yahusha to their will. And as they led him away, they laid hold upon Shimon, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country, and on him they laid the, the pole, that he might bear it after Yahusha. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Yahusha, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Yahushalayim, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breasts which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And there were also two other criminals led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Yahusha, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. 
And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he be Hamashiach, the chosen of Elohim. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If you be the king of the Yahudim, save yourself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Yavani and Latin and Ivrit. This is the king of the Yahudim. And one of the criminals which were hanged railed on him, saying, If you be Hamashiach, save yourself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do not you fear Yah, seeing you are in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. And he said unto Yahusha Adonai, rather, and he said unto Yahusha Adonai, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Yahusha said unto him, Amen, I say unto you today, you shall be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst and when Yahusha had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my Ruach. And having said thus, he gave up his Ruach. Now when the centurion saw what was done, hath he glorified Yah, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to that sight beholding the things which were done, smote at their breasts and returned. And all his acquaintance and the women that followed him from Galil stood afar off, beholding these things. And behold, there was a man named Yosef, a counselor, and he was a good man and a just. The same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them. He was of Ramah, a city of the Yaudim, who also himself waited for the kingdom of Yahuwah. This man went unto Pilate and begged at the body of Yahusha. And he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in a sepulcher that was hewn in stone, wherein never man before was laid. And that day was the preparation, and the Shabbat drew on. And the women also, went, which came with him from Galil, followed after and beheld the sepulcher and how his body was laid. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Shabbat according to the commandment.